Hello everybody! Watch this video to learn about useful registry tricks in Windows 11 and how to edit the registry safely and efficiently. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Windows Registry is a powerful tool that stores and manages key system settings. Although it may seem so strange and complicated for many users, getting to grips with this functionality may bring you considerable advantages. In today's video, we'll cover a few tweaks to help you improve and simplify your work with the latest Microsoft operating system. You'll learn how to apply them safely, because tampering with the registry may get your Windows damaged. We recommend following all instructions strictly and never edit the registry if you're not sure what you're doing. Before you start editing the registry, it's recommended to create a restore point to be on the safe side. In case your changes to the registry cause any issues with your computer's performance, you'll be able to roll back from that restore point. To create one, open the Run window by right-clicking on the Start menu or pressing the key shortcut Windows R. After that, type CCDM CPL and press Enter. And then open the System Protection tab, select the system drive and click Configure. Finally. Choose the option Turn on System Protection and click OK. Once the system protection is enabled, the option to create a restore point will become active. In this tab, click Create. Give a name for the new restore point and hit Create again. When it's over, you'll get a system backup file, which your system will roll back to if any problems arise. One of the most popular and sought-after registry tweaks for Windows 11 is the one that brings back the old context menu, the way it was in Windows 10. To do that, open the registry by clicking on the Start menu, Run, type Regedit, and press Enter. In the registry editor window that appears, follow this path. After that, right-click on the folder CLSID, click New, Key. Modify its name. In this folder, create one more key with the name InProxServer32. After that, open the default file. Don't type anything in this line and just click OK to save it. When these changes are applied, right click on the desktop and you will see the good old context menu is back again. Another tweak concerns the Start menu. As you might have noticed, the Bing search window appeared in Windows 11. Every time you use local search on your PC, it also shows you Bing search results. It can be removed by editing the registry a little. To do it, follow this path. Right-click on the Windows folder, click New, Key, and change its name to Explorer. After that, Create a new DWORD 32-bit value. Give it a name, disable search box suggestions, and set its value data to 1. Click OK. After you reboot the computer or just restart Windows Explorer, the Bing search option will disappear from the Start menu. To restart the Explorer, open the Task Manager by right-clicking on the Start menu and choosing this option. Find Windows Explorer and click on the button Restart Task. It's above the list on the right. When you open the Start menu and click on the Search field, you will see the Bing features are disabled. Another tweak related to the context menu helps you to add any app to this menu. If you often use a specific application, you can add it to the Windows context menu for convenience by just editing the registry a bit. Follow this path. In the Shell folder, create a new key with the name of the application. 
I'll illustrate it with the example of the registry itself by adding the registry shortcut to the context menu. I'll name the folder Regedit. In this Regedit folder, I'll add a key with the name command. Now let's find the path to the file that opens the registry. Open Windows Explorer, this PC, Disk C, Windows. Look for the registries.exe file, right-click on it and select Copy as path. Now get back to the registry, open the default file and paste the copied path to the file into this field. Click OK. Now close the registry. As you right-click, you will see that your context menu now contains the registry shortcut that you have added. Following these steps, you can add any app and run it from this menu. Another tweak deals with automatic system updates. If you don't want your operating system to update automatically, you can stop this process by modifying the registry. Follow this path to make some changes. Create a new key here and give it a name – Windows Update. In the same folder, create another key with the name AU. Now create a new div word 32-bit value, give it a name – No Auto Update and then set its value data to 1. When it's done, the operating system will no longer receive automatic updates. If you ever want to update your system, you'll have to download updates manually and install them. Our next step is removing one drive from the Explorer. To do it, follow this path and modify this value by assigning the value data 0. After that, your Explorer will no longer show the OneDrive shortcut. You can also turn off the lock screen in Windows 11 by modifying the registry. If you don't use any passwords and you don't need that screen, use the registry editor to follow this path. Create a new key with the name Personalization. Then create a new DWORD 32-bit value, no lock screen. Assign the value data 1. Here you are. The lock screen is disabled. To enable it again, just remove this value or change its value data to 0. Windows 11 has brought considerable changes to most common elements of the user interface. The context menu, the start menu, the taskbar, the settings app, as well as action and notification centers. If you don't feel like getting notifications, they can be disabled completely by tweaking the registry. So, if you follow this path, Create a new DWORD 32-bit value with the name Disable Notifications. Assign the value data 1 and then follow this path. And here create a similar value with the name Disable Notification Center. Assign the value data 1. After that, the Notification Center will be disabled. As you can see, modifying some registry settings can greatly help to improve your user experience with the operating system by providing additional opportunities and fixing various issues. Always remember to be extremely cautious when making changes to the registry. Any careless step can affect the system performance. Stick to the instructions and don't forget to create backups. Even if things go wrong, you'll be able to bring your system back to normal. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.